I am meteorologist Steve McLaughlin with your latest weather forecast from Storm Team 8. The chilly weather continues across Connecticut. Plenty of sunshine in the forecast on Sunday, but it is breezy and highs only in the upper 30s and lower 40s. And then yet another potential winter storm Monday night and Tuesday. Spring, by the way, officially begins at 7.02 a.m. on Wednesday. All right, tonight we've got some light snow this evening. Wouldn't be surprised if a few spots saw coating at most. That is just about it. Otherwise, partly cloudy and cold overnight, 22 to 26 degrees. Tomorrow it is mostly sunny, but it is chilly and breezy, 39 to 42. Northwesterly wind gusts up to 25, so we'll have wind chills in the upper 20s and lower 30s at times throughout the day. Monday begins with quiet weather, maybe even a little bit of sunshine, then rapidly increasing clouds. By the evening, it looks like along the shoreline, we're going to get a mix of rain and snow. There could be a little bit of sleet or freezing rain real briefly, but for the shoreline, this is going to quickly change to rain. So Tuesday should be all rain with a high temperature of 44 degrees. Even for the morning commute on Tuesday, maybe there's a little bit of snow mixed in, but it should be mainly rain by this point. And then we're dry for the rest of the forecast and gradually and finally we are warming up toward next weekend, which should be really nice 45 to 47, which is a little bit closer to where we should be for this time of the year. Things a lot more tricky inland. We'll begin with Sunday. It's quiet, cold, 39, 22 degrees on Monday morning. And again, same deal, increasing clouds Monday throughout the day. I think the big difference with our inland areas is that this is going to stay frozen precipitation for a lot longer. Monday night, Tuesday morning, that is round one of all snow. And then during the day on Tuesday, a mix of rain, snow, sleet, and freezing rain. And then Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, we could go back to all snow. So for areas along the shoreline, we are not expecting any accumulation. It's possible if there's a little bit of snow at the onset, maybe some slush changing to rain. But for inland areas, you know, this could be a significant snowfall. It is much too early to talk about snowfall totals, but several inches not out of the question. And there could be a little bit of icing as well. I think the bullseye of this storm does look to be north of the Mass Pike up in Massachusetts, where there could be even higher snowfall totals over six inches, maybe some areas closer to a foot. But stay tuned over the next couple of days. We will be refining this forecast, timing it out and talking about snowfall totals as we get a little bit closer to Tuesday morning. For now, meteorologist Steve McLaughlin, enjoy the rest of your weekend.